everyone welcome back to my channel so today i'm back with another cooking video and in today's video i am sharing with you how i do a creamy paprika chicken dish um but it's a sewing world recipe i have adapted it to work for myself because it is only me that eats this meal but i can adapt it like you'll see in the video to work for pete as well she just doesn't like the creamy sauce I really like this meal it's quick it's easy it's relatively mess free it's healthy like I said it is a Slimming World recipe even though I don't follow Slimming World myself I still eat some of the meals if you want any more like meals and stuff leave me a comment below and I'm sure I'll get to them probably in the new year now um, but I would love to share with you like my Mexican salsa that I do with the jacket potato I do very like budget not necessarily like fancy meals i do enjoy what i eat when i do cook it um so yeah i'd like to do that maybe a diet coke chicken because i make that sometimes i do a bit of curry so leave me a comment below let me know what you'd like to see next if you want to enjoy and let's get into the video the ingredients you are going to need for this dish is chicken breast i am making this just for myself um because P doesn't like it and obviously this is not a fit meal that Neil will eat. So I'm just going to use one chicken breast because one is enough for me. You're going to need the juice of a lemon. I just use half a lemon, so lemon. Um, I use half a stock cube. I basically just half the ingredients because obviously it's for one. So I use half a vegetable stock cube. Although I do still use one clove of garlic because I love garlic. Teaspoon of salt, fry light, spray light, whatever you want to call it. This is Aldi's for coating the chicken once it's in the dish. You're going to need an oven proof dish. Mine is from Poundland and I love it. Um, oregano for seasoning, as well as paprika, obviously. Tagliatelle. You can use any pasta, but I love tagliatelle. I prefer this meal with that as opposed to spaghetti. And then excuse the rank <laughs> sort of semi defrosted cream cheese but i never get through a whole pot when it's just me so this is philadelphia that was frozen and is now defrosted so all you need are these ingredients prep your oven to 200 i think going to do is cut up the chicken just one breast put it in the dish with a squeeze of lemon my garlic and then one teaspoon of each of those this is what your mix should look like I did actually squeeze my lemon before I did the <laughs> juicer I forgot I had that so I had like a million and one bloody lemon pips go in there so I fished them all out mixed it all in together and then added another spray of my fry light on top I'm just gonna let that marinate for like 10 minutes you don't need to but I'm going to because I'm cooking quite early tonight so gonna do that and then what you want to do is pop this in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes my chicken has been in the oven for seven minutes so not too long so I'm just giving it a little stir a little mix through so it obviously cooks all sides and it doesn't just go crispy on the top and um, I set my timer for 15 minutes I think this is going to go in for 20 I have just popped on my heat for my tagliatelle and I've taken out five. I thought P could have one and then I'll have four. Um, it's really hard to gauge tagliatelle I think. P's gonna have this chicken before I add the cream cheese sauce. Um, so it is versatile. 
because of the lemon it's really juicy anyway so like i said i'm just going to take out a little portion for her because this is too much chicken for me anyway um and that's just off one breast so i'm going to pop that back in and then let that boil and i think to go alongside this meal i'm going to do broccoli i know i did that in my previous cook with me but p doesn't like asparagus so that is what is going on right now So broccoli is prepped again just to top the bottom up with water. I spoke about this contraption in my last video and I still highly recommend it. You know what, this makes a fab Christmas present. One of those things that someone would open and be like, why do I need this? And then they'd use it every day. So that's going in there. I need to put that on, not yet, but I'll put that on for three and a half. I have got my tagless telly cooking along nicely in here. I haven't had tagged the in such a long time. I've just salted the water. This takes 9 to 11 minutes, I think. But I always find it takes longer on my rubbish pans and hob. Do you know what this is? What Lemon. is it? Lemon. Lemon. <laughs> <laughs> no, I might give it to my horse as well. No, you can't give it to your horse. It's mine. Mmm. No, you can't hold it. No. You can hold it and lick it. This <laughs> don't, don't bite it. No, don't bite it. Why? Because yes. that makes you sick. Good, isn't it? That bit's rank. <laughs> So my chicken is now cooked. It's been in there for just over 20 minutes. My tagliatelle is still going. And what I need to do now, I've taken peas portion out. I need to make it creamy. I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna add in my cream cheese. Might not add it all in because I don't like too much cheese. And then I'm gonna grab a new teaspoon and add tiny bit more paprika it says tablespoon but I'm doing teaspoon I guess it's because I've altered the recipe Put all of that in and then I'm gonna add in the rest of my vegetable stock bear in mind I've only used half okay and then what you want to do is get some of the tagliatelle water and put it into there so for ease I'm just gonna use a ladle I reckon one ladle full, so maybe two or three tablespoons if you're doing it for one portion will be enough. Right, let me put that there. Yeah, 100% that's enough. Right, mix all of that in again. Oh, delicious, delicious, delicious. Make sure it's all mixed in no lumps yeah i definitely used enough cream cheese for me i use the garlic and herb one i think that's what it is right so it's quite like a soupy mixture sorry i don't have my tripod today so i'm literally just going to pop that back in the oven to warm through and then you'll be ready to serve Tackle the telly on the plate, definitely done too much, but what's new? This girl loves a bit of pasta. Ouch. Hang on. Broccoli on the side of the plate. Is that a wasp? No. Hang on. Yeah, can you go and let daddy in? Thank you. Be careful, please. Undo the 
And then I'm just going to spoon this onto spoon the chicken and the sauce onto my plate. This is what our dinner looks like. Peas is obviously deconstructed, so she's got the paprika chicken on its own with dry tagliatelle. She might ask for ketchup, which is fine. She just doesn't like the creamy sauce, but it's a deconstructed version of my dinner. And then I've got the broccoli, the tagliatelle, and then the chicken. This is delicious. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if you try it. This is a Slimming World recipe. I don't know how many sins it is if you are following Slimming World, but I know it's relatively low sin. Um, you can substitute the Philadelphia for quark, quark, if you want to. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry it wasn't very professional, like always, but good food.